Hi, welcome to Cosmic Turtles. My name is Tina, and today we are going to do a collective read. So let's see what we got for the collective. It's a late night read, so let's see what we got. Uh, for the collective. Well, that's it, folks. We got nothing. <laughs> oh, got people feeling stuck. Stuck for some reason. Eight of Swords. Hmm. Why are people feeling stuck? Spirit come through. One flipped inside the deck. They're stuck because they can't get to their Ten of Pentacles. Mm, or they feel that way. You feel like you can't get to what it is that you're looking for. But then you're going to embody the energy of the Knight of Wands. You're going to pursue your passions. Because you're not bound so tight you can't wiggle yourself out of this. And then take the uh, blindfolds off. And then see that you're not fully caged in. It's only half a circle around you. Ooh. Wow, okay. Um, maybe you're stuck between two offers of love because there could be a Knight of Wands or a Knight of Cups, either fire sign or water sign, and <laughs> you're just happy being on your own, just taking care of your own business. Or there was an Aries that was interested in you or wanted you to continue to feel stuck so they could uh, be your hero. And then you've changed or something because now it's the King of Water that wants to offer a cup of love to someone that has seemingly everything they need. Energy are going to be moving real fast towards what it is you are passionate about. What it is you're focused on and wanting to uh, ground and manifest. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're still going to get there regardless. And we shuffled. Wow. Let's get some clarifiers on... The Eight of Swords. Let's get the clarifier on the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Preservation. Maybe you're not stuck. Maybe what you're doing is keeping everything close knit towards you so that you can do your own healing. There's some sort of preservation going on there. Maybe for the time that you were feeling stuck, you didn't pay even no mind to any of the energies around you, which could have been worse if you noticed them and went for them. Sometimes the universe does stuff to... It seems like it's harming us, but really it's getting us out of a greater jam. Ooh. Next. Knight of Wands clarified by the center card. Hmm. Maybe this is someone that wants to be the center of attention. Get a clarifier for the Knight of Cups. Ooh. Well, this uh, water sign or Knight of Cups that's coming to your towards you, you may notice they are a little bit insecure. They carry insecurities about themselves, which may not be good for you. They also could be at an impasse. 
So they could be like and skewered and and at an impasse. Impasse. Like they don't know what to do next. They don't know how to approach you because of their insecurity. They're probably thinking that you're out of their league and they don't know how to approach you. So you gotta show off in a shy guy that's trying to come towards you. And you, you're in the middle of a shift. That's where you're at right now, your immediate future. You're in your immediate future. <laughs> in, in the middle of a shift. You're taking care of business every day. And making sure that, number one, your needs are met. Like in the... In, in the ways of self-care, self-preservation, same thing. Maybe you've cut yourself off of other people and not going anywhere. Maybe you're, it's kind of like, it's a hermit mode of sorts, but you did this to yourself. It's like you compartmentalized yourself in one way of looking at this. Woo! And then we got Ocean! Motion in the ocean, energy in motion, passions, being grounded. Things are going to start moving really fast. Get ready. You're shifting and things are moving fast. At the bottom of the deck here, context. The context is about the ten of coins, about having your ten of pentacles. It's about your abundance of the things that you hold a value. Alright, let's get some... Oh, excuse me, guys. Let's get some astrology on this. What do we have for the Eight of Swords? Alright, thank you. We have Black, Black Moon Lilith Mystery. So, since it's going with this, maybe you're going within to face up to your own Black Moon Lilith. Wherever your astrological sign is in in Lilith, you could s discover the mystery of yourself, like see where it is that when you do shadow work, what exactly are you dealing with? This one specifically seems, whatever sign it's in, it, sh it could have to do with, uh, you may have air sign in your, in your, in your Lilith, some type of air sign, it could be. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay, let's see what else we got. Who's this Knight of Wands? Thank you. Six House Routine Center. Hmm. Center and Six House. This could be a fire sign or a passionate person or someone that has a lot of passion or may have a lot of fire signs in their chart um, they may be very centered on their routine six house routine and who's this knight of cups Sorry if the sound is very low. I am getting some equipment. Um, donations are always welcome to help. Uh, so, eventually I get the sound levels all right. <laughs> okay, who's this knight of ooh, second house? 
owning and Saturn truth. Impasse, insecurity. Owning the truth. This Knight of Cups. These are the two uh, words there. Owning. They may wish to possess you. They might wish to possess you. They want to own you. Maybe they see you as an object. Ooh, clarifier for heart of fortune. Fortune increase. So the shift is about the increase in your own fortune, and that's exactly what the Nine of Pentacles represents. What's the clarifier for the Eight of Wands? Oh, well, If I move, everything else will move around. Uh, give me a second here. Okay, are we back? Checking to see if the timer is moving. Yes, it is. Okay, hello. Welcome back. Sorry. I got the card. It is card 22. It's Capricorn. I use. So, you may be... Things may be moving fast towards your passions uh, because of a Capricorn that uses motion, that knows how to use motion. I see the body roots. I am transforming and communicating another place all right I feel the body roots okay let's get one from the moonology deck what do we have for this reading attraction Yes, it fell right here. So pretty much there's attraction. Card 44. Uh, this is under the super moon. Attraction. Card 44. Under the super moon. And yes, that is happening with the situation here with the two knights. They may not know each other or they're each going their about their own way to try to get you or an aspect of you that they desire. It's either you're feeling stuck or you're feeling abundant. So when you're feeling stuck, this kind of energy comes to you. When you're feeling abundant, this kind of energy comes to you. Maybe you notice in your grounding the experience. You're using what you know about motion, about emotion, energy in motion. And oh, the masculine. So yeah, there's an attraction and there's type there's masculine types coming towards you. And um what's on the split? Acceptance surrender those are the two cards acceptance and surrender oh uh, just accept things as they are you don't have to get into any situation you're just feeling good and satisfied if you wish to and in get entertained by just know what you're getting into at least see feel or sense the situation before you totally commit to anything okay 
Let's get some starseed oracles for this reading. What do we got for this reading? However many. Oh, vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to cosmic intelligence. Yes, and we got the card increase. There's a shift going on, and you are vibrationally increasing, and it's part of your fortune. So that makes sense with the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. And surrender comes out again. Wow. Uh, surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life in this present moment. That's right. Maybe that's what your friend is teaching you. Just surrender. What else? All right. Thank you. Blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. Wow. Yes, it is. The light of the creator. All right, creator. All right, creator. Yes. All right, collective. This has been your reading. Thank you very much, everybody, for your support. And we'll see you in the next reading.